Joining us now from the Capitol to talk about today's transition of power and, of course, change in leadership. Nice to see you, sir. It's good to be seen. Thank you. <laughs> I know the last time we talked to you was uh, two weeks ago during um, the unrest sure. that we saw there at the Capitol. Much different picture today. How did things go? It'll look. That's the difference. What a difference two weeks makes. Uh, the hallmark of our democracy, the peaceful transfer of power, was seriously challenged two weeks ago. And you know, you couldn't help sitting where we were sitting, recognizing that's we were sitting where the the mob was walking yeah. through to get to the Capitol. And everything about today represented a change. You know, that democracy had won. And and it's important to be here today as it was to go back that night on the 6th and to vote on the electoral uh, college process. Democracy won. Well, as you indicated, it is indeed a new day, so let's talk about what comes next. Uh, what are your thoughts on timelines for things like um, uh, stimulus and perhaps uh, financial aid for cities like Chicago, states like Illinois that have been hit hard uh, by the COVID crisis? Look, I think you're going to see a lot of things take place in the first month. There's a lot of challenges as well. Uh, this isn't a normal transition process. Uh, none of the cabinet has been put in place. Uh, the Trump administration delayed and resisted a normal transition process. There are razor thin majorities uh, in the in the House. Obviously, it's just a one vote vice president tiebreaker in the Senate. So it's going to be a challenge. But I, I do think you'll see a lot of activity and progress. All the things you mentioned are our priorities. All right, so we know that President Biden talked about this message of unity, and I keep bringing this up because it's so important to uh, the entire country moving forward. So I'm wondering what you personally will do to make sure that we uh, work together, Republicans and Democrats, to get something accomplished. And do you see sort of that uh, idea of unity building among some of the other lawmakers? You know, I do. I don't know if two weeks ago made another big difference in this. Uh, you saw Mitch McConnell saying some things you never would imagine, talking, uh, agreeing with uh, Democrats about what took place and who is responsible. And as bad as that was, I think there's an impetus there uh, to move away from that kind of anger and hostility and, and frankly, hatred, to recognize there's more that unites us than divides us. Uh, there ought to be enough of a majority in both houses is to accomplish the things, recognizing, again, that there's there's more that unites us than divides us, and we're facing a once-in-a-generation, once-in-a-hundred-years pandemic and an economic downturn that comes with us. So many challenges, but we owe it to ourselves uh, to do the best we can working together. But let's face it, uh, January 20th, it's all about uh, <laughs> unity every four years. Uh, January 21st, not so much. Uh, you talked a little bit about why you think this time may be different, but isn't that kind of wishful thinking? You've been around there long enough. Sure. Uh, I do think, look, I got sworn in 12 years ago, and the first person that came up to me on the floor after uh, the ceremony was a former senator and representative Mark Kirk. And he said, the best advice I can give you is everything gets that gets done here gets done in the middle. So uh, hmm. if that is what we, that is our watchword, recognizing uh, that these are going to have to be compromises, I think there's an excellent chance. I, I understand the challenges, and unfortunately, the climate that we live in right now, you probably have a six-month honeymoon as a new administration to get anything done, uh, but I do think there's a willingness, the olive branch you saw from the administration today, to, to offer the Republicans things that they care about as well. Hey, that's how things get done here. Already, Congressman 